ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आर टॉपिक इज द ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉस्फोरेसन सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सी द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन वीडियो बिफोर सींग द ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉस्फोरेसन ओके सो एट फर्स्ट सी द इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन देन वी विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द ऑक्सीडेटिव फॉस्फोरेसन सो इन द ई टी सी आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट द थ्रू द चेन द एनर्जी इज गेटिंग रिलीज Okay, so now let's see how the oxidative phosphorylation occurs. So let's draw a mitochondria. So let's take uh, this is the mitochondria, okay, and this is the inner membrane. This is the inner membrane of the mitochondria. and we also have a outer membrane in the mitochondria okay so this is the outer membrane not need here just uh, write down that is the outer membrane okay so this is the outer membrane and this is the inner membrane okay outer membrane and the inner membrane so now in the inner membrane there is presence of the etc that is the complex 1 so this is the complex 1 this is the complex 3 complex 2 is also present but does not need to see here okay so this is the one complex this is complex 3 and this is complex 5 um sorry complex 2 uh, is the part of the tca cycle so it is not uh, being drawn here drawn here so complex 1 here it is a link this is q and this is the cytochrome this is the link to complex 3 and 4 so now you have read that the energy is getting released through the transport chain now as a result of release of energy there is presence hydrogen present in the matrix will be released to the intermembrane space so hydrogen will be present here so hydrogen will be there through the reaction this will happen now here another complex is present okay this is called complex 5 or the atp synthase complex atp synthetase complex Uh, okay, this is complex five. So here, what will happen? There is release of hydrogen from matrix to the intermembrane space. So there are presence of lots of hydrogen ions will be in the intermembrane space. So as a result, a proton gradient will uh, proton gradient formation will occur. So now the proton will try to come back to the as a uh, as is storage of lots of protons they will try to come back to the matrix and there it is a channel is present which is called atp synthetase complex and it contains f0 and f1 okay so through this channel or the atp complex this h plus will come back into the matrix and this will cause formation of ATP inorganic phosphate to ATP. I have told you earlier in the electron transport chain that the electron transport chain releases energy, which will cause formation of ATP form ATP plus inorganic phosphate. So it is not directly releasing energy and which is helping. It is uh, releasing energy, which is cause form cause transfer of hydrogen to the matrix to the intermembrane space and lots of collection will occur and then it will come back to the matrix and this will cause formation of atp from atp and inorganic phosphate so this is the oxidative phosphorylation so i hope you have understood the full concept so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel thank you